Hello and welcome back to Indie Gamer. Um, I'm getting back to uh, Amnesia: The Dark Descent, uh, and I'm just gonna check that it's casting properly the game. So I've just reloaded my save from a month ago. A few weeks ago. And, yeah. and so I was just uh, getting into the middle section. I can't remember exactly the names. We had to go to the wine cellar. <coughs> cellar door. Um, and I'm arriving in this kind of water field corridor with some boxes on which I stand. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know how to... Oh, oh, oh. So, as you can see, I'm trying to get back to the... That's crouching. <clears throat> and so we have to go around this area without being in the water because the water is actually helping the beast walking around that we can't see to detect us and so by I think I can run like that I don't know. Uh, so right now I don't know where it is and but you can hear it move we just don't know where the fuck this shit is and so I might die quickly because I kind of screwed it up again already. Um, and there we go. Uh, well, let's go. I'm not gonna wait forever. So I'm just gonna run and hope for the best. Oh, no, I was just in front of me. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember. That That didn't seem to be running, though. How do I run again? Oh, that's to turn on the torch. How do I run? No. 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 <laughs> Oh, and I have a timer for that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I need to know how to run. That would be good. No. <laughs> uh, keep out of the water. I know, I just can't remember how to run. <laughs> They have another one now. Okay, so I passed the grid. I wasn't sure where to go anymore, but. Mm hmm. Do I? 
Oh yeah, I can grab that. But I don't know where to go. There's a door over there, so I guess I have to go around there. And then what? Oh, it's getting the door. I guess I'm gonna take that as a diversion. And now what? Oh, there's like a... At least I should be able to get there and be able to open the door. Without triggering. <coughs> Can I clear it by closing the door on him?
on the other side, so I'm kind of... Safe, right? They don't tell you if they can just go through the doors or if once they're on one side they are fucked, which makes it cool because you can then explore the room without too much drama. But it seems to be fine. Close the door behind me. No, I can't. Ah. <laughs> I cannot close the door behind me, so I need to make diversion. <clears throat> Dead flesh can act as a distraction. Yes, I know. And this time it has been my dead flesh. Okay, so...
Can I grab that even if I'm on it? <laughs> it's so dark. How do I uh, get my adventure again? Oh yeah, so <clears throat> I have a slight headache and I'm barely conscious. Cool. Chemistry pot. <coughs> And I have a potion. Cool. with a simple lock. What does that mean? I can... need to find a key or do I need to pick the lock with that needle? Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! he cried. Ooh. There's no crates. It's coming this way. <laughs> um. Love the path. Run. Okay. Did it save by going through the door? Yeah, okay. So it should be alright. I just need to close the door and go on the other side. <laughs> oh, I hate these games. Why you freak out because of nothing? Ah. Oh. 
things at me. Yep. Okay. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The lacquered hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the throbbing warm yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean reaching towards the coast of Portugal and thought something, something, something. So I'm back out of the water, which is great. I love it. But, <laughs> but, there's always a but. What are the prepared for me Ooh. Oh. Oh. what's up for me Some leggies. So weird, but okay. <laughs> uh huh. So I have two ways to go. Three ways. Four ways. Mm, the guest room. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, I guess I can. The storage. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, the guest room. The study. Secret if I light up all the torches. <sniffs> Nothing on this side. And this is the elevator. I guess mm, it's not working. And I need to fix it's not working <laughs> and I need to fix it by going to the machine room and I need to go to the machine room with some stuff that I'm gonna find in the study or the guest room or the storage so let's go to the study first he tried to fit the pieces together like the sentence, 
this shifted when you weren't looking. Ooh. Uh huh. So it's not the scary part anymore. I'm going back to a puzzly part, I guess. So, what do we have here? Some light. Oh, a note. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb <coughs> to my most trusted student and friend, Joan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Persian woods this summer. I finally found one of the hobs I have been looking for in the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described, <laughs> described it in the author's conclusus. It was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the un unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cut ends, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its colors washed while it was rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. Shit. No, not that. Notes. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's the one. I didn't finish reading it. Ah, uh, it's left and right. Okay. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of this enigmatic artifact. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight this instinct and fetch the orb from its place. As Crumb bolted out, uh, of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed it. The beast, this guardian of the hob, was relentlessly, uh, relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where, ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. <coughs> I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned cocoa, black, and uh, with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky waters, I pressed on through the drenched land of the glowing amber. As the glowing amber gave away, <coughs> gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear a pleading scream in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for hair. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away f across the Alps off to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening to the howling cry I heard in the forest. It was. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke about, uh, we spoke you two, uh, 
The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Henry Cornelius Agrippa. Okay. Okay, so what is this orb? Is it... a knob in these fountains like where the water was kind of sprinkling out and I'm like oh, could it be this thing okay nothing of interest so much <coughs> all right Yeah, it's getting cold in here, so Savoya is, you know. Uh oh. Oh. The cracked window panes are held together only by a weak wooden frame. What are those? I can take that. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I can break them. I grab like uh, one of those chests. Do anything with that? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spent centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even wasted. Is not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa. I trusted you. 
It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. supposed to do with that. breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow of uh, is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions. Four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Okay, now that the machine will not check proper configuration until the rods are inserted. Uh, okay.
I supposed to do with those keys? See you more. So I can't pick these ones. I'm not thinking that's a piece of the puzzle, but I guess I need to bring that back. <coughs> Somewhere while running and jumping on the side of the building. Yay. Ah, oh, without dying. <laughs> Tread carefully. <laughs> okay. Why did I... I don't know. Why? Okay, there. So I'll pick that up. Canis lupus familiaris. After a short study, it is clear that the ag agitation found amongst humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induces stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. <coughs> I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. <coughs> hey, dear old princess. How are you? Uh, there is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their, it might be their, their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately argue, uh, augment <coughs> the experience of terror. Are you doing? I need to come back in Devil Princess. 
what is up? I don't think I've ever seen you around. Okay, so this guy is doing some experiments. And we don't know exactly the extent of it. I'm trying to, well, I kind of enjoy. I don't know who did those, um, those drawings, but uh, they're doing that on birds as well. I stumbled upon your, your streams and was genuinely impressed with your content. Oh, thank you. Further disappointment, the antiquary's lastest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books and on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Uh, words don't mean anything these days anymore, don't they? That's the difference between you and I. Okay, so the, what am I supposed to do with this? Ah, bugs. I should pick up for me. Oh, okay. Oof. 
Bonjour. <coughs> okay, well... I think I've done whatever I had to do. Now, uh, let's go back to the hole. And it's been nearly an hour, so I might have a break. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock has been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left, considering something, something. Well, <coughs> I guess. I've discovered this new room and I'll do the guest room and the storage another time. Um, This thing. What the fuck? <coughs> and so the water is going there and what? See that's a that could be a no, but it's it's not really, but it could be. I don't know, it's just weird and wondering if that could be a thing to be considered but no I don't think so well who knows okay I'm just gonna save and I'm gonna come back to it later I've made it through the creepy weird corridor with the the creatures following me so I guess that'll be enough for, for now Ah, oh, thank you, devil princess. I hope oh, you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, and on this note, I'll see you later.